Hello everyone, and this is me coming uh, coming out with my thoughts on what WWE's been promoting pretty much over the last week with their big announcement that they were going to be showing off at CES uh, tonight. And if you had been going through the rumor mills and through other inter uh, other wrestling internet sites, you already had a good clue of what it was going to be, uh, what it was going to be, but you didn't. They didn't absolutely confirm it until, of course, they announced everything tonight. And that was the WWE Network it is actually going to be launched. It was, if you do remember, it was actually announced back in, I believe, 2011 that they were going to have a WWE Network. And initially they were going to actually be putting it on like cable television, direct TV and everything in that, in that sense. Well, with them actually making the full announcement that they are launching the network, they have completely changed what their what the initial plans were going to be for for the network. Obviously, it is still going to have their own original content and and everything on there, but now it's going to also be a Netflix type style. Uh, Hulu Plus type style way of going with a video on demand service. It's still going to have live uh, live content on there, which is one amazing thing that I feel like they feel that they're going with. Uh, some of the shows that they announced tonight with Countdown and a couple of the others uh, seem like they could be really good shows. I'm not too sure about Legends House, but we'll see where that actually goes. If you uh, uh, if you actually do get uh, do purchase the subscription and now watching everything but the announcement that they put in there with all uh, you know all old raws all old smackdowns uh, the Monday Night War uh, uh, show that they're putting in there the WrestleMania rewind show and then even putting in all the live 12 pay-per-views uh, onto uh, this WWE Network is probably the best announcement that they put in there. Uh, you know, also with the price point of it being nine ninety nine. Now you do uh, now one thing that they do show right off the bat. You know, if you did see it as well, uh, you will be putting a six month commitment right away into it. Now I'm okay with that. Uh, just, uh, and there are a few other questions that will be have to be. Uh, you know, announce, you know, put out there for later times, especially when the network launches. Uh, one question I have will be, or one question I would would like to bring up is, will it have ads on on there when you're watching one of the live pay per views or any of the other live programs? Are you going to have ads and commercial breaks in between everything? Um, you know, just how the infrastructure of their uh, network and the application of everything works in general. Will it be laggy right off the bat? Will it be, uh, or will it run smoothly? All those things will actually have to be, you know, considered at launch. Uh, with the way they announced everything and the way that everything is set up, uh, I'll be getting it, and I'll also be reviewing the actual, um, the actual application and everything about it when I can get my when I can actually get my hands on it and you know go with everything itself so I will be doing a review on that when it launches on February 24th uh, so I would say in all that this was probably the best announcement that they've uh, that WWE's made in quite some time I'm not sure if it's the best announcement they've ever made that they've made ever because the thing has not launched yet. So this uh, if this turns out to be as revolutionary as they're saying it's going to be with live content 24/7 and the video on demand and it works great and you know everything's there the live pay-per-views you even get WrestleMania it was initially thought that you would only get the 11 pay-per-views and then you would have to get WrestleMania via cable or their internet or their internet service provi uh, providing on WWE.com or DirecTV or something like that. So even putting WrestleMania in there makes this a really big announcement. Now we've just got to see how everything works, and hopefully it works. Uh, hopefully it works great. And to you know people that just love to watch old wrestling and just want to get this network via to be able to see. Uh, all their documentary DVDs or all old Nitros or Raws or Smackdowns, this would be gr this will end up being great for everything on that. So hopefully everything will work out great. 
I like the uh, I like the announcement of the WWE Network and the way they presented it tonight was just a gr uh, great way of doing it. And yeah, that's just my thoughts on the the announcing of the WWE Network. And I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.